What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 12.4 Beta 4 to registered developers exactly two weeks after releasing Beta 3. This update also comes just one day after the release of iOS 12.3.2, which I covered in a video yesterday, also here on the iPhone 8 Plus. Now I know that most of you guys are probably on iOS 13 Beta 1 or iOS 12.3.1 right now, but I'm sure some of you guys out there are also on iOS 12.4 beta so of course you guys also know that i like to cover every single software update on this channel no matter how important or non-important it is so here we are ios 12.4 developer beta 4 you can see the size here came in at 319.7 megabytes here on my iphone 8 plus which did come from beta 3. and if we go ahead over to our settings general about you can see 12.4 there take a look at the build number it's 16g 5046D, and as you can see, there is a D at the end of the build number here, which does tell me that this likely is not the final beta, so we'll probably have a beta 5 of iOS 12.4 as well. And if we scroll down a little bit further, you will see that we do have a new modem firmware update there as well. It went from 3.60.01 to 3.70. 0.01 here on the iPhone 8 Plus. And that modem firmware update should of course help if you were having any kind of issues with cell connectivity. But aside from that modem firmware update, there is nothing else new that you can visually see here in beta 4, which is kind of expected. I mean, this is a point update on the fourth beta. You don't really expect to see too much uh, at this time, but there are probably some bug fixes here in 12.4 because again, it wasn't just like a 90 megabyte update file. It was 300 megabytes. So there are definitely some fixes here in beta 4. Now, one of the fixes that I'm really hoping is here in beta 4 has to do with Wi-Fi. I've seen numerous people on Twitter, on forums, everywhere talking about Wi-Fi issues with beta 3. Their Wi-Fi would drop, their Wi-Fi wouldn't connect. Just a ton of issues related to Wi-Fi with 12.4 beta 3. Now, me personally, I did have iOS 12.4 beta 3 running on my iPhone 10R over here for a while. Of course, I did update to beta 3, but while I was using iOS 12.4 on my iPhone 10R, I did not have any issues with Wi-Fi. So unfortunately, I can't tell you guys if it has been fixed or not because I never faced that to begin with. But if you did have issues with Wi-Fi, definitely go ahead and update to beta 4 and see if it does fix it because I'm hoping it does. That was the first beta that had that issue, so I would imagine it is fixed here in beta 4. Now, with that being said, I did have battery drain issues on my iPhone 10R on iOS 12.4 beta 3. And that was honestly a big reason why I went ahead and updated to iOS 13 here on my iPhone 10R. And I definitely noticed pretty much right away that the battery drain issues went away. My battery was lasting a lot longer. It didn't drain as quickly. And I read that multiple other people have been facing battery drain issues with 12.4 beta 3 as well. Now, when it comes to the performance, performance is gonna be pretty much the exact same here on beta 4 as it was on beta 3. You're not really gonna notice any kind of performance improvements this late into the beta stages of a point update but yeah like i said everything was running perfectly fine on my 10r on beta 3 so no issues no crashes nothing like that everything was running very smoothly and then again battery life was bad on beta 3 but hopefully beta 4 does fix that and then when it comes to connectivity again i did have the wi-fi issues but i did not have any type of cellular issues i didn't have any issues with lte at all making phone calls or anything like that on my iphone 10r when i was testing that with my sim card but again the connectivity should get even better with the new mobile modem firmware updates. So yeah, iOS 12.4 beta 4 is pretty much much ado about nothing. There's really not much changed here, but let's talk about the release date for iOS 12.4. So again, that build number indicates that we are going to have at least one more beta here of iOS 12.4. So I would expect beta 5 either next week or the following week. So it's the 11th right now. We could possibly get beta 5 on the 18th or sometime later that week or the 25th at the very latest. And then we will probably get the final release of iOS 12.4 after that. So either late June or early July. Live for the final release of iOS 12.4. And then after that, we will probably get iOS 12.4.1 or something like that to hold us over until iOS 13 officially releases in a few months. So anyways, guys, that is iOS 12.4 beta 4. Not a huge update, but of course, I did want to bring you the latest when it comes to Apple software releases. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also, make sure to subscribe for a lot more content coming on iOS 12 and also a ton of content coming on iOS 13. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you soon.